Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna hold this shit. Let's go, we have profits, baby! Let's fucking get it, boys. Alright, turn that music up, turn that music up! Let's go, boys! We in profits, a. We in profits, a. We in profits, a. Yeah, you know we out here. You know we out here. This is too easy. Hey, 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 hey. What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on here? There's no way I lose this money. This, this is my rent money. That, that it has to turn around soon. I have to remove stop loss. That's the only way. What you're doing right now is not working. And if these gurus haven't already made it clear, the markets don't give a fuck about your life issues or your problems. If you're rich, they'll take all your money. And if you're broke, they'll do the same. They're binary, they don't give a fuck. They're ruthless, dictated by ones and zeros, it's algorithms, right? They don't care if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. They don't care if you woke up on the floor. They will take your money without even thinking twice about it. By the end of today's video, you guys will know how to detach completely from the market and trade emotionless, almost like an algorithm. Capital preservation is an important topic to talk about and if you guys want me to keep dropping these gems, I need at least 50 likes on this video. I know you guys can do that. Friday, I will drop even more sauce around the Novik strategy. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe while you're here and let's get right into this video. Your strategy doesn't work, or at best, only in hindsight. And even if it works, you just can't control your emotions. You're stuck in the same emotional loop that every single trader gets into, and you keep blowing accounts. Like, you wouldn't be able to be profitable over a few months, even if your life depended on it. I know traders have been stuck in this emotional loop of blowing accounts, making a little bit of profit, doubling their account, then blowing it again for months, even fucking years. Although that sounds dreadful, that's the reality of most traders. Unfortunately, this space is filled with people that spread misinformation and lies. If you don't carefully navigate through the information that's out there, you will end up in the same emotional trading loop and you will never really get out of it. Once again, if you haven't watched my old videos, I suggest you do that. I only have a few videos up, but they're super valuable. So go ahead and watch them right after this video. Also, if you guys wanna get my personal no wick playbook that I've worked on for five years and I use every day to slaughter the market, the link is in the bio for that. Remember chat, these markets are not going broke like you. They will move with or without you daily. And you have to realize that if you're not an algorithm, you will not able to be able to master these markets. You have to be objective in an objective market. But people are way too subjective. We do not understand what moves the market or we don't even know where the market is going to go on a day-to-day -day basis. We find certain patterns of regularities that keep on repeating themselves over and over in the market. And through that, we build a playbook. And that's how we stay objective in a subjective market. The key to thinking like an algorithm and to get these emotions out of the way is to make data-driven decisions, is to be like an algorithm through a playbook. You have rules, input, output, plug and play. That's how you need to think. Some of the best traders in the world are the ones that think most objectively. And the absolute greatest traders of all time are algorithms, which by definition are objective. Makes you think, huh? For example, me, if the price action aligns with my Nobik playbook, I take the trade. If it doesn't, I don't take it. That's why I'm asking you, why the fuck are you taking a trade when it doesn't even align with your playbook or it's, it's not even a play that you've documented? And if you guys want me to drop a video where I explain exactly how to create your own playbook, I want 50 likes on this video and I will drop the best video you'll ever see on how to create your own playbook and frankly, give you tips that nobody else in the industry will ever give you. I will teach you how to be an independent trader, not be dependent on me, my signals, my course or anything like that. Because quite frankly, I'm not full of shit. Again, it goes back to the same thing. Why are you trading if price action doesn't align with your playbook? I heard that the best traders on earth take maybe eight trades or nine trades a month. And you're out here with your smart ass, trying to take a trade every single day, forcing trades, trying to get paid an hour like a fucking office worker. You're not an office worker, you're a trader. Our point is not to get paid. Our point is not to get paid by the hour, by the day, even by the month. Our point is to follow the playbook, input, output, to be as algorithmic as possible, that's all there is to it. Once you realize that sitting on your hands and waiting for the perfect entry, however long it might take to come, is never a bad thing. That's how it's supposed to be. Create a strict plan and stick to it, even if it feels uncomfortable. Growth is found in discomfort. You have to be uncomfortable to grow as a trader, as whatever you want to do in life, especially trading. Algorithms don't panic. The market dumps, the stone faced. The market pumps, 
the stoic they they don't have emotions right why because they have a strict rule set that they follow regardless of what happens and that's how you should operate now that i've talked about why it's so important to have a playbook to have a strict rule set that you follow every day and to be as stoic and less emotional as you can how the fuck do i do it bard like you might be sitting here and looking at me with a straight face and be like okay bard i understand that emotions is hard to deal with and i understand that i'm trading emotionally but how do i get through this right i don't know what to do i'm lost and i was in the same place as you that's why i will show you on this whiteboard right here exactly what you need to do so let's head over to the whiteboard and i'll explain to you why it's so important all right chat damn i feel like i'm a teacher man all right boys so what the fuck am i talking about here bart like i know that i shouldn't trade emotionally i know that i shouldn't risk my whole account i know that i shouldn't over trade but how do i detach right how the fuck do i detach so let me start by one thing this is your emotional state let's just name it e so this is emotions right so your emotions well throughout the day throughout the week throughout the year come go up and down 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 sometimes very low sometimes up again sometimes very low sometimes up right this is your emotional state sometimes you're going to be super happy right sometimes one day maybe you won 50 bucks on the lottery ticket that you bought for four bucks and you're like oh god damn bro what, what a nice sometimes you wear your old pair of jeans and you found a 20 bucks in your old pair of jeans that you forgot you even had you'll have a good day right sometimes your hamster commit suicide and then you're super sad and you have to bury him and that day is going to be completely ruined for you or you stub your toe while right before entering the charts right you, there are different ways but short and sweet you will be your emotional state will fluctuate throughout the day throughout the week throughout the year all right now we have something else most of you 90 percent of you i would say let me make this a little smaller right emotional state now most of you fuckers will connect this to your what trading account we call that ta trading account ta right so now these two will be linked this will be linked meaning your trading your emotional state will influence your trading account right so if your emotional state looks like this your trading account will also look like that right because they are inherently linked or they are strictly linked and that's because you linked them one day when you're over emotional you might take a trade that you usually wouldn't take and you fuck up one day when you lost a bunch of money won a revenge trade and you lose even more simple mistakes very obvious mistakes everybody does it everybody knows about it now where's the magic here right where's the magic how do you unlink these two you can't you cannot unlink these two these cannot be unlinked what can you do you can replace you can replace chat so instead of unlinking or trying to unlink or trying to be like a stone instead like you're a human let's be honest you're a human humans feel emotions you will feel emotions it's a part of your being it's hardwired within you you will never be able to escape emotions unfortunately i'm afraid to tell you the bad news but that's just how it is so what can you do well you can replace that you, you're not going to become a stone all right you're always going to be human therefore you replace it what do we add you guys know what i'm going to say uh if, if you guys have watched my previous videos you should know what i'm going to say here oh what is that playbook that is a playbook chat now if you have a back tested playbook now i will make a video explaining to you guys exactly how to make your own playbook so be stay tuned for that a bird come, came and whispered to my ear he was like bard motherfucker you need 50 likes to, to drop that playbook video because it's too much sauce like you can't be dropping that much sauce and people don't even like your videos all right so i need 50 likes on that video on this video and i will drop the explanation on how to make your own playbook how to journal everything around that uh, but anyways we move so playbook now if you have a back tested playbook like i do and you have journaled for a while and you have narrowed down a few very consistent plays your playbook will look like this That will be your playbook. Oh, what you're saying, Bard? Your playbook will be in an upward trajectory. Why? Because you have back tested the playbook, meaning you have back tested the playbook, you know that it works, you have narrowed down a bunch of plays throughout journaling, and you have refined your playbook, 
right? So the playbook works. You know the playbook works. My my dog knows the playbook works. My my granddad knows my playbook works. All right, everybody knows a playbook work if you have spent enough time at it and if you refine it enough through journaling and through all the information, right? It's data driven. It's data driven, right? You use data driven concepts to play in a data driven market. A playbook is what you need. We have another factor here that I forgot to mention, right? The other factor is the market, all right? The other factor is the market. Now, the market is kind of like your emotional state, right? They're both fucked up. They're both inconsistent and they're both unpredictable. Here's the market. Or if, if we're talking about gold right now, it's literally this, but in general, the market will be balanced and move up and down, up and down, up and down, all right? So now we have the market, we have your trading account and we have your emotional state, right? Now this will also be linked to your emotional state, right? So what will happen is in most people cases, most unprofitable traders cases, you will have the market influence your emotional state because you're like, oh, it's gone up this much. It has to come down sometime. Oh, what? It didn't respect my fair value gap, right? You will get emotional because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. That, that means that the market will control you. The market will control your emotions and you will be over impulsive. So the market will control your emotional state and then your emotional state will control your trading account because you will take emotional trades. Very simple. This will influence this, this will influence this, right? But then comes the hero to save the day, the playbook. Have you guys realized that all of these are up and down, up and down, down? There's only one thing that's consistent and that's data-driven playbooks. That's data-driven decision-making, algorithmic decision-making. That is consistent, right? So what you wanna do here is you wanna have the playbook, you wanna create that playbook. Again, video will drop on that, 50 likes. You wanna journal a bunch of trades. You wanna have journal for six months, 12 months, two years. You wanna have journal for a while and you wanna see what time does my play works best, which play works best, when do I take it, blah, 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 when did I move stop loss or break even, when did I close, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then you have all this data and you take that data and you narrow it down to a few plays, a few time zones that work the best for you. That's how you create a winning strategy. Once you have a winning strategy that's objective, meaning nothing changes it, it doesn't matter how you feel, you need to replace your emotional state, which is right here. So you unlink, or you don't unlink, you relink, right? You unlink, and then you relink. Instead of your emotional state, you link your playbook to your trading account. So now, how you feel will not matter. How you feel will not matter at all, right? This link is shattered. There's no link there anymore. The only thing that will dictate if you take a trade or not, or the only thing that will dictate your trading account will be your playbook, right? And then your playbook will be connected to the markets. Instead of having your emotional state being the center of what happens in your trading account or in your trading career, you have a playbook. You have now successfully became an algorithm. You have a set rules and parameters that you follow regardless of which day it is, regardless of which market conditions, regardless of if you stub your toe before you enter the market. All right, this is the cheat code. This is what separates profitable traders from unprofitable traders. Very simple. They have managed to unlink their emotional state from their trading account and link an objective thing like a strategy, playbook, rules, etc., to their trading account instead. So now the market will feed the playbook, if these two align, meaning if the market and the playbook aligns, the playbook will then take care of the trading account. And this is the cycle, market, playbook, trading account, market, playbook, trading account. The emotional state does not matter. You have replaced it with something more consistent, something robust, and something that does not fluctuate. And that, my ladies and gentlemen, is how you successfully detach yourself from the markets. And like I said, as long as your strategy is refined and you've actually made the playbook in the right way, as long as your playbook is an up, in an upwards trajectory, guess, guess what's also gonna be an upwards trajectory? 
That's right. Your trading account, because the playbook will now control your trading account. Now the journey will be long, but having a strict and defined rule set really allows you to turn into a program mentally. And that's the goal, you wanna be an algorithm. There's a lot more to becoming a stoic algorithmic trader, and I'm gonna share that all with you on this channel. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to watch my previous vi videos for an introduction to my strategy. Also join the free Discord, which is my free community. Don't forget to watch the live streams every day from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. EST. And also, I'm gonna run free webinars for everybody, so also sign up to the webinars. It will be in the link in the description. But anyways, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. If you wanna join my team, Quality Traders Club, where all we do is become better, focus on becoming data-driven traders, make sure to do so. And I will see you boys in the next video. All right, QTC fam, take care.